Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I am an independent contractor and trainer. Now, in the last couple of episodes, we explored setting up a basic CMake project for C++, and then we added a support for Travis CI to our C++ project so that we can get the confidence of having automated builds whenever we push changes to our project up to GitHub. And then we also, in the first episode in this series, demonstrated that we can use CMake to easily make cross-platform builds of our C++ projects. So we are going to continue along that line and we are going to add AppVayor support for our C++ project. So we have here our CBP starter project, which is available on GitHub. And this is going to be a constantly evolving project that shows how to set up a basic project that has various uh, builds and tests automatically happening on it. So expect that by the time you look at it, it might look slightly different than this. And what we now want to do for our project is add AppVayor support, as I said. So AppVayor is a free continuous integration environment that supports Visual Studio, and they do an excellent job of staying on top of the latest and greatest version of Visual Studio that is available. So really, to add AppVayor support, all we really need to do is add an AppVayor configuration file, just like we did for Travis. So for a quick reminder, Travis's is at .travis.yml, and we have set it up to do a build on trusty Ubuntu with G++ 5, and we're taking advantage of CMake's ability to automatically drive the build for us with the CMake dash dash build. And we are going to really show how that shines now with our AppVayor support. So AppVayor is also a YAML file. And it is really straightforward, as I said. So we want to say that we are using the Visual Studio 2017 image. So if you're going to be playing with AppVayor, you should take a look at the various images that they have available, but we definitely want to start with Visual Studio 2017 here. Now, we want to set up what folder we want our project to be cloned into. And we don't have to do this step. By default, it is cloned into a folder that has the same name as your GitHub repository. But I figure doing it this way will give us a baseline that we can all start from. When we want to start a new C++ project, we can simply clone this, and it'll be in a consistent location. And now, just like in Travis, we need to tell it what our actual build script is. And we want to run a series of commands. So we want to make a new build folder. That makes sense. And cd into it. And at this point, uh, the clone has already happened for us. And now we want to tell CMake to configure our project, which we have already specified is in the project source folder. And now we need to tell it what generator we want to use. And this is kind of an important step here because we want to use Visual Studio 2017. But CMake actually uses the Visual Studio version number as opposed to its name. So we're telling it we want Visual Studio 15 because that's what uh, release Visual Studio 2017 was. and now uh, CMake will have configured, and now we're going to take advantage, like I said, of that power of the dash dash build command, and say that we want to run CMake build of the current repository. And in this case, we need to tell it what, what type of build we want to make, whether it's a release or a debug build or whatever. And we're going to do that by specifying the configuration that we want it to build with. So dash dash config debug. And we'll just do a debug build because that compiles faster and we're not running a bunch of really expensive tests or anything. So this should be a pretty straightforward way of testing our debug builds automatically for Visual Studio 2017 with our test project. So now all that's left to do is to add this to our repository. But let's start by first exposing our project to AppVayor. So then when we make this commit, AppVayor will automatically pick up this new AppVayor YAML file 
and will build for us. So App there, just like Travis, has built-in support for GitHub integration. So all we add, need to do is say we want to enable an existing project. And I have lots and lots of GitHub repositories, as I've said before. So we just have to click on our C++ starter project and say we want to add this to App Fair. And it will do what it needs to do to add the project with uh, using our automated GitHub integration here. And now let's make a commit to it so that we can see that it actually is working. So back here in our uh, editor, let's go ahead and add our app there. And we can see that it immediately picked it up and attempted to make the build, but unfortunately, we have a syntax error in our AppVare YAML file. So let's get that cleaned up and get it pushed back over. So we had to make a couple of fixes to our AppVare YAML file. And I definitely do find that using these CI tools seems to take a, a little bit of trial and error, and I believe I mentioned that on the Travis video also. But we needed to remove the uh, space here before our command. And we had a spelling error here where I had images instead of image Visual Studio 2017. But after a little bit of trial and error and pushing this back up, this is a config file that is working. And we can see here in our live AppVare output that the project is being built now. And it has built the project and we don't have any tests running. So everything finished and completed and we have a green indicator on our AppVare build here. So this is basic AppVare support for our C++ starter project, and like I said, you can check this out on GitHub, and you can use it as a starting point for your projects that you want Travis and AppVayor support. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.